New tonight, court documents in a lawsuit against Johnson City Police allege new evidence that police extorted money from escaped inmate Sean Williams to cover up his alleged crimes. Last fall, Williams led investigators on a multi-state manhunt. He now faces numerous charges, including escape and child pornography. Caleb Purney walks us through the new documents. Sean Williams is at the center of four cases, two criminal cases associated with child porn and escape charges, and two lawsuits against Johnson City Police alleging they failed to investigate. One suit from former federal prosecutor Kateri Dahl, who claims she was wrongly dismissed for calling attention to the issue, and a second suit from Williams' alleged victims. It is that lawsuit where court documents filed by attorneys for the unnamed women alleged new evidence supporting their claim that police extorted money from Williams' business. The documents claim police enabled Williams' alleged crimes by corruptly conspiring to obstruct any investigation. They also claim Williams' business partner, called Female 4 by the suit, withdrew $2,000 in cash each week to pay officers. The documents say bank records obtained in discovery corroborate those claims by showing Female 4 withdrew nearly $30,000 in cash from the account of Williams' business. The documents say the withdrawals were done in $10,000 increments, alleging that Female 4 structured the withdrawals to evade mandatory suspicious activity reports. The court document is part of a series of back and forth motions between the two sides of the case over what discovery will be provided to each side. Both sides have claimed that the other is making overly broad requests in an effort to harass the other. Williams' alleged victims are seeking more evidence from female four and former officers, including bank records. They say that information could prove defendant officers financially benefited from extorting Williams' business. Johnson City Police did release a statement on the lawsuit saying in part there has been no evidence presented to support allegations of corruption by the Johnson City Police Department and we welcome any investigation that could dispel such claims. Now in the coming months Sean Williams is expected back in the courtroom on various charges. His trial for the escape charge it is set for mid July. The trial on child pornography charges it is scheduled for the end of August. The lawsuit filed by Kateri Dahl against Johnson City. That is set for the end of October. It will be here in Knoxville. In the lawsuit filed by Williams, alleged victims against the city of Johnson City is set for next April in Chattanooga.